Hello, welcome to another video on missing value and in this video we are going to see how to do missing value imputation using simple linear regression using the R programming language. For that let us consider the following data. This data contains four numerical variables of which the variable Y contains three missing values. Now to impute the missing values of the variable Y using simple linear regression we are going to follow four main steps. First, look for the most correlated variables with R. If it is X, if it is Z or W, we got to figure out that which one of these variables is the most correlated variable with Y. Next, create an indicator variable I such that I takes the value 1 if the cases are complete or takes the value 0 if the cases are incomplete. That is, we are going to create another column over here I that is going to take the value 1 if the cases are complete or 0 if the cases are incomplete that is if one of the values in that cases is missing. Next we fit a linear regression model y on the most correlated variable we y that we are going to find from this the very first step and finally for each i equals to 0 that is for each i equals to 0 which indicates the presence of missing value in the variable y we are going to predict or impute for the missing values is in the above regression model. Now before we can do all these things in our programming language I want to talk about a very important function so far which I am going to use while writing my code to impute for the missing values. Now that function is the which function. This which function is used to get the index of a particular value. For example, consider this data set. This data and we have the we have got the index for this data. Okay, so the first value of the data is 12, the second value is 24, the third is the missing value represented by NA, the fourth one is 5 and so on. Now how the which function work is that having entered the data in R, if I write that which is dot n a data is going to find out that it, it's going to find out that where exactly the missing values are located in the data. So running this code will give us three and six, which indicates that at the position at the index three and index six of the data, we can find these missing values. If I write which not is dot n a data, this indicates the this indicates this this will return us the index of all the values other than this n a values so it will return us this 12 means 1 2 4 5 and 7 now what do you think if i write data and subset it by which is dot n a data now this one is equivalent to writing data and subset it according to the output that we got over here 3 and 6 okay so we want the third element and the fifth element of the data set and so this will give us these two NA values similarly if I write data which not is dot NA this is equivalent to writing data C Uh, 1, 2, 4, 5 and 7 means this vector and so it will return us 12, 24, 5, 18 and 7 because we demanded these index indices y, 1, 3, uh, 4, 5 and 7. So that's it. Now we will look at uh, we will see that how we can use these functions and how, how we can build a function in R to impute for the missing values using the linear regression so let's go to our R studio so here is our R studio I have already entered this value and created the data set over here the data frame so we'll just take a look at it and we have got this data set that we have we have been seeing in the uh, PPT now the first step in the process is to see the is to find the most correlated va uh, variable with y in the data set. Now understand one thing that if I, if we uh, want code 
do core data then that's going to give us the NA values because we are trying to find the correlation of the variable that contains the NA values and so it obvious that it's going to return us the NA value. Instead let us instruct that instead of using code data that is the entire data use only the complete observations means the complete cases present in the data. So we can specify this parameter use to complete ops and we can run it. So this is, this gives us the very good correlation just considering the complete cases. So we can see that the variable x and y are very highly correlated compared to the others. Now one problem that we usually face using this core function is that the, the, the things become a little messy if the variables are large and it's difficult to find out the magnitudes properly. So instead if we can use some symbolic approach that some symbol indicating a very high association then that would have been better and we can we can easily identify the maximum association between the variables and so let let us let me introduce you with another function named simnum so what simnum does using simnum and entering this entire thing over here and let's run it see the things become symbolic. Now each symbol has its meaning so that's given by the legend uh, over here. For example this dot represents a, a correlation around 0 0.6 the comma represents a correlation of 0 0.8 a plus if present in the in this matrix is could have represented a correlation of 0 0.9 and an asterisk is used to represent a high correlation 0 0.95 and a B is used to represent the correlation of 1. Okay so we can see that we the, this matrix mostly contains dots comma and star and the star indicates the highest possible highest correlation so here we can understand that x is the most correlated variable with y so let's come to our, the having identified that the most important the most associated variable let us come to a next step which is creating an indicator variable now to create an indicator variable what I will do is that I will create a function now using which I will create the indicator variable so that I can use this again and again uh, so let us give a name to this function let's call it int and define it as a function and give it that it's and it depends on one argument t which is a vector now inside the function locally let's create a vector x which will have the same dimension as the length of this vector okay now I'm going to define h in such a way that it will take the value of 1 if this t does not if this t if this t is not a missing value if the corresponding value of t is not a missing value is means x which is dot n a t is equal to 0 and it's going to take the value 0 if this t actually contains the missing value so what we so what actually we are doing over here is that we are setting all the values of x as one corresponding to all the non missing value of t and we are setting all the values of x as zero corresponding to all the missing value present in t and then we return this variable x now let us create an additional variable i to the data set which can be done by data dollar i that creates an additional variable named i and then use this ind functions and set this parameter t equals to the variable y okay so the new variable y will be created according to the function that we just defined above so run this function so and let's take a look at this data set and see that the indicator variable has been created and we have one for a complete case and a zero for an incomplete case now let us come to the third step that is fitting the linear regression model of y on x because they are the most correlated because x is the most correlated variable with y and that is given by the lm function y on x y tilde x and give the name of the data and here the name of the data is data okay so we get the intercept of 9.743 and the slope of 1.05 and that 
brings us to this model y equals to 9.7432 plus 1.590 times x. Now finally let us come to the most important step that imputing the missing value using the model that I uh, that that we have just created and so we are going to do this using a for loop because I don't want to do it manually over and over, over, over again that I just want the program to do all by itself so let's write for i equals to 1 to n row data and now understand this step very carefully so it's going to start from 1 and it's going to go till the end of the data and it will check, check every time that if the value of this indicator variable is 0 or not in case it finds the value of indicator variable is equal to 0 it's going to set yi as equal to 9.7432 plus 1.590 times the corresponding value of x so in this way all the missing values present in the y is going to get imputed using this regression model so let's run this loop and we're all done let's take a final look at this data and we can see that it's all imputed the variable y does not contain any missing value if you check for the summary of the data you will see that the summary does not summary neither indicates the any presence of missing value inside it so that's the thing we have done a pretty good job here so and this so this is how that we can use the simple linear regression model to impute for the missing values uh, I hope that you enjoyed and if you want to know more about data analysis and predictive modeling please subscribe see you in the next video goodbye